Hey, we're live, and we got some exciting news. We are. Dave Z has extended his contract with us here at EXP Realty. He's actually going to hang around. It's like a free agent signing extension yeah. here we got. I mean, it was nervous. We had some negotiations. Uh, we had to throw in a ton of stock, and I mean a, a metric ton of stock. But Dave Z, the man Dave Z, has decided to re-up with EXP Realty and our community for another two years. This is awesome. Dude, you did the signing bonus perfect. Exactly what I needed. Yeah, yeah. I, I was worried because I, you, like you, you straight up said no hometown discount. I was worried, but came through. You guys delivered. Ooh. All right, man. Well, let's get down to business. So you know, dude, EXP gets a lot of knocks for people coming over, only recruiting, never selling real estate. Like they're not businesses worth owning or having. It's where people go to retire. Blah blah blah. What's going on with you in the last two years, man? I want to know. You shared some text, but let's talk a little bit more about that, man. How's the last two years been for your business here at EXP? Yeah, yeah. life changing is the, I guess the best way to describe it, life changing. So that's cool because that doesn't happen that often. When you get going and you do this, you're like, oh, we'll just get better every year, right? Like that was kind of always my goal. Let's get better every year and then you just have, like looking back from two years ago to today, it's life changing. So, you know, when I, when you guys moved, I, Kevin and I were on the phone like the next day. And I, I you know, I remember that conversation where it was, uh, I'm sure you remember this. So I'm like, can you get me from 30 million to a hundred? Or I think maybe you said that like, man, we'll get you from 30 million to a hundred million in two years. I wasn't even thinking rev share. I wasn't thinking stock. I was just really focused on that. Like, how, how do I grow into a better business, right? And so to have that trajectory happening and the stock and the rev share, it's way faster than I thought. It, it, it's pretty cool. So it's incredible, it's man. So get, ballpark us, man. 2017, 2018, how many houses were you and your team selling? What was life like and what's it like today? 2018, we were selling about 25 million of real estate, about 80 houses, um, bigger team than I am now. So that's the thing is I, I came over with more people and um, now we're pacing to do like 130, closer to 50 million. And wow, the cool part is uh, – my profitability inside my business is about tripled. Yeah, I was gonna say, dude, there's a cool, there's a couple of cool things. Cause like, number one, first of all, those are big numbers, right? Dude, someone's gonna sell $50 million in real estate as a team, like that's huge. Those are big numbers. I don't care what city you're in, what your average sales price is, that, that's a big business. But the thing that stuck out to me is, is two things. Uh, number one is your profitability. And I know this cause you, dude, you're such an open book. We've become such good friends over the years. Uh, so I know how much your profit has gone up. But then the other thing I know about is the thing that you liked doing the least, you now do the least, right? So you used to have to do it the most. And now it's actually the thing you do the least, right? You've been able to shift your role in your business instead of always being the doer to also becoming more of the business owner and not having to be the guy who's always at in the, you know, I call it in the living room, right? To right. take the listing, your business has been able to grow without you just, you know, going, Hey, I'll do more. I mean, that's it. I, like this year I'm, I've only sold eight houses and I, you know, I was selling 50 a year and 35 a year. And it's like, man, you know, I, it was so hard to balance both. So to see profitability up and my agent's income is up and I'm doing less of that. It just, it seems, it seems too fast. Like, and I'm impatient. I know you guys are impatient. <laughs> but just my CPA has said it, and then the coach is like, man, there, there's just been this massive change in two years. It's incredible. It's, man. I'm not even counting. I'm not even counting the six figures of stock. That's not even it. That's the icing. So that's not even built into that equation. That's just the P and L. So all of that stock that I have vested and it's six figures isn't even in, in that formula. Wow, man. So tell us a little bit about the icing, right? Like how much was that a part of your decision when you moved over to EXP? Like it probably intrigued you, but like, you know, yeah. what, what, what was it like two years ago when you're moving over and like, what's it mean to you today? Yeah, it, it was the icing. 
but I knew like the way I explained it, the way I thought about it. I remember the conversation I was having with my wife was like, look, I think if we do this, it's maybe 20 grand a year, but I've got, I'm 40, I was 40 at the time. So it's like, well, if I do this for 20 more years, that's still a lot of money. That's a significant amount of money. So I just thought, hey, if this could happen and we get, you know, I was just looking at getting my icon money back, doing just small stuff. Like, what's the guarantees? Like, what, what's the guaranteed payout of this contract if I get hurt? It was at least, I thought, a half a million dollars, which how do you discount over your real estate career? And now seeing what it's doing, that's, it's far beyond that. So it went from icing to, this is great. This is life changing, you know. I so I, you guys know I bought my Tesla from it, and I still have a ton of it left. Uh, so it's when someone's like, "Oh, do you like EXP?" You just can't even can't even put it into words when you're like, "Yeah, I like it. It's pretty cool." It's hard to describe, right? Like, yeah, you're like, "Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'm it's it's I'm cool. Okay. It's not around. bad." It's All right, so bad. you're you're an open-minded guy. You were willing to call Kevin and talk to him the day after we moved to EXP. It had been on your radar a little bit prior to us. Right, for sure. Like, yeah. What do you say to some of those agents out there that they may be open-minded, but they just maybe never even considered looking outside their walls of where they're at? Like, I guess, what's your message to them? Not that they all should be at EXP or you're shaming them into not being here, but, but I mean, like, what do you really want to say from your heart as somebody that has a two-year history now and can reflect back? Like, what's that mean to you? And let me remind you before you answer that, I want to throw something in here. You were really happy where you were. You did not, you have a great, you still have a great relationship with that broker. He's, he's a mentor to you. It's not like you were, you weren't displeased. You weren't trying to get away from something. Right. You saw an opportunity. So I did well, not want I to think move. most people are similar positions. I didn't want to move. I didn't want to move at all. I liked my office. I liked my setup. Right. I just couldn't ignore it. But really, like what I, to answer your question too, Fred, really what it was for me is I'm like, I'm in the midst of reading Tony Robbins again. Love Tony Robbins. And like what stuck out with me this week before we even talked about doing this was he talks about his relationship mastery and that the greatest resources we can obtain are through our relationships. When you master relationships, it opens up all of the resources you need. And so it was, it was really that, like it wasn't, you didn't really have to talk me into EXP because I already saw it in Inman and I liked the model. But it was the relationship that I knew I was going to get with the two of you and then all of the other dominoes that that opened. My whole transformation is really through the coach that you guys gave me. It's not 100%. So that's, I just think about how Tony talks about that. If you can, if you can master relationships, and I'm not shy about reaching out, and I think some people are. Like, if I need help, I call you guys or I call whoever or you know, I was out in Texas the month after I joined EXP and, and spent a couple of days with Jake Kinder. He didn't know who I was, but I'm like, I'm going out there. So I think if, even though I love my old broker and I love my mentorships and things there, none of it comes even remotely close to the actual stuff we get here with each other. And that's what's moved my business is hundred percent is now I've got access to just people that are where I want to be, you know, uh, so, I just looked at that. You got listing number nine you need to take? Or are you, you all right? <laughs> I'm fine. I thought I turned that off. So, <laughs> you know, getting in the rooms that I need to be in. And then that's, you know, that's, you know, in, in Tony's book, like either unlimited power or awaken the giant. It's like just compress success by getting with people who have already done it. But nobody gives, nobody gave that to me at, at Remax. And that was my only experience because we were all busy. And even when I had some success there, you know, selling 80 houses, uh, people would want to like kind of pick my brain. I'm like, I just, I can't, I don't have time. And honestly, I don't have any reason to. And I think we're all pretty generous, but five kids, a business, team members, and somebody wants to pick your brain, you, you gotta, you're limited yeah. in your capacity. So I heard Dan Beer say it on a call once, like EXP has just figured out how to uh, incentivize human behavior. Because I felt when I coached, or well, yeah, when I was paying for a coach, I honestly felt like I was getting exactly what I paid, right? Like that time was up, it's gotta go, you've hit your clock, 
And I, I always felt like the multiple coaches I had, I was just getting what I was paying for. And I think on this end, now that I'm, I have agents under me that I've recruited in, that I'm pouring into and you guys are pouring into me, I feel like I give way more than what they, what, if they were paying me on a monthly, it would be, they couldn't afford it. And I couldn't afford you guys because I think the upside is so big. I'm willing to invest into people that I'm recruiting way more, way more because I know what the payoff could be. So they know how to incentivize that behavior. So that growth has, the catalyst has all been the coaching and the connections because how we're paired together. But so really cool, yeah, I get, someone's like, oh, I'll get mentorship at Remax. You're, you'll never get it to that degree. You just can't. And then awesome. that's the beauty of it. It's really cool, the Dan Beer quote, like, because I, I do truly believe that. I've never put it in those words, but, like, this company incentivizes, like, the giving, collaborative, we're in this together spirit at, at a level I've never been a part of before. And it's the model laid the groundwork to incentivize it, and then the people that have come in on top of the model that was already laid there to incentivize it have only made that grow. And it's why last month, August 2020, had the most number of people ever that joined EXP. It's why our stock's going crazy. It's why people are talking about us. And uh, it's just cool, man, to, to know that you're signing on for, uh, for more years of this journey. And uh, uh, like you said two years ago, man, you had some expectations that in two years now have been blown away. I'm excited to see what the next two years brings and just kind of where this goes. Yeah. No, well, I appreciate you guys getting me here because um, it's been life-changing. So that's the thing. That's talking to other agents, it's like, it shouldn't be hard to talk to other agents when your life's been changed. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot easier, a lot easier to do it. So That's awesome. I appreciate you guys. Hey man, we appreciate you. And I just want to say this. I know one of the reasons we decided to do this on Facebook live is because we all have a lot of friends out there that are curious about this company or wanting to know what it's really like. And you know, okay, well it's good for Kevin and Fred. Like, is it good for other people? You know, just all these things we hear, right? Are people's businesses really growing? Are they actually making more money? Are they just betting on stock? Are they just betting on rev share? And so it's just cool to hear your story of basically tripling your net income on your production, your actual business, plus all the extras, plus all the relationships. Like that's what this is about. And I want other people to know that. So I hope people that are listening and tuning in right now, reach out to Dave and ask him more about that. He is busy, but I know you take a few minutes out of his life to share with you what this journey's been like for him. Heck yeah. No, I love talking to EXP anytime. That's awesome. All right, dude. Well, have a great rest of your day, man. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for joining us today, bud. You got it. See you guys. Talk to you soon, man. All right, later. See ya.